so let's talk about the business scenario and why this would be important. So we're a small company and we um, have been having some trouble recruiting people for new positions. And uh, we had tried using um, a, a man, a, we, had, we had tried using a bigger system that people would have to come in and fill out these very long applications. And we just weren't feeling like we were getting the candidates that we wanted. And we want to really reach people out in LinkedIn and in social media and the community and, and try to get some, some new recruiting, um, just, just get some new, new people that might be interested in positions. So using a form, which is part of Office 365, you can actually share forms outside of your organization. So you can create a form and then allow for anybody to respond who has the link. Um, I've also in Teams added this as a tab. So um, let me fill it out. But it really, you know, you might, you would want to be sharing this, maybe your mailing list or to LinkedIn, things like that. So basically, this is a form that a candidate who's interested in a position could fill out. I'm not going to fill out everything because it's just a demo, but it's all the basic information you would want to know. And this is a lot shorter than filling out pages and pages and pages about your work history and then having it time out or something and losing your work and then just saying, OK, forget it. I'm not applying for this job. <laughs> this is hopefully just a quick way to show you're interested and give the information, you know, basic information about yourself. And then at the bottom. It says. Um, if someone from a company has referred you to us, enter their full name and then refers email. So I'm just going to say I referred myself. Um, and what this is going to do is send an email with an approval to this person to see if they would really you know, be a, they really would approve of this employee, that they really do want to be an employee rep referral for this person. So when I submit that, let me take a second. I've got an email. Now, do you approve this employee referral? Um, this can be modified to look a little bit differently if you so choose. These buttons could say different things if you want them to. You could have custom responses, but I'm going to go ahead and approve. And so now let me go in Teams because we want to be working in Teams. We want to be keeping everyone informed in Teams. Let me go to post. So this posted when I submitted the form. So now they know somebody somebody out there in the world went and filled out our form and completed an interest form. And now once I approved it, it's listed as approve. The candidates list that it's writing to with all of the candidates, I've added as a tab here. So I don't need to go somewhere else and look and be like, oh, you know, who are all these candidates? Who's who should we start talking to? They're they're all right here. And so I will now show you that flow so you can see it. So when you open up a flow, it'll give you some details and it'll show you the connections to the services. These are those connectors we talked about, which are components of every flow. You need to have a connection. These are using credentials. They're using my credentials. If it was going to be a really big enterprise used flow, you might want to think about using um, a service account or something like that. You can have multiple flow owners. So uh, which is 
uh, recommended practice so that if I leave, there's still an owner for the flow. So if I go up to edit, I can see the steps of it. My trigger is when a new response is submitted. It's letting me pick from the different forms I have created. Gets the response. It's creating that item in SharePoint by filling in the data from the form fields. Posting the message to the HR team. This is sending the referral email. And if this was like always going to be someone internal, it would be nice just to have this go into Teams. But you never know what somebody's going to type in it for an email on, a, on an employee referral. They might only know your personal email address. So um, it's just safer to have this as an email. And then uh, post the message that it was approved. So I just like to show this because I feel like, you know, you can see we're in we're in teams, we're working in teams, we're probably working on recruiting, marketing things, and now we've we're able to monitor these new submissions right from within teams. 